G'day, Mick Dennigan, President of the Worldwide Whip Crackers Club. I'm going to run through some helpful hints for those of you who are trying out our club's white belt. The best place for your whip to crack is roughly waist height in front of you. So wait until the cracker is behind your right shoulder, then drop your arm and follow through. The whip should crack in front of you. The follow through is important because it will enable you to set yourself up for the next trick, which in this case is cracking the whip with your left hand. Go with the flow, around and around, one, two, three, bring your arm back, the whip should crack in front of you. Keep practicing until you can one time the sequence. If the whip is cracking out to the side, it's usually an indication you're pulling your arm down too early. Wait until the cracker is behind your shoulder. If you're having difficulty getting the whip to crack in front of you, then you could stand in front of a shrub or bush and try hitting the leaves. As long as you're not in a national park or wrecking your mum's favourite rose bush, you should be okay. The cattleman's crack is the same principle, just on the vertical rather than the horizontal plane. So if you want to hit a low target, pull your arm down when the cracker is high in the air. If you want to hit a high target, pull your arm down when the cracker is low to the ground. It is purely a matter of timing. This is the 180 degree principle you can use to fine tune your accuracy. What whip should I use? Well, if you're under 13 years of age, the mini whip is great value. If you're an adult, the Parachute Cord Market Special is Australia's best value whip, I reckon. Mick Dennigan, keep them cracking.